Yo, what's good, people? It's your boy, the Kryptonian Saiyan, bringing you a review for One Piece chapter 151. This chapter, man, not too bad, not too bad. I like the fact that Luffy is the one who's kind of wrecking Wapple, man. Like, you knew it was coming because, again, it's the main character, Shonen. There are certain tropes that just won't be broken, you know? So I expected this, but at the same time, though, I was really worried that with Dalton kind of... Uh, being brought back, you know, confirmed to not be dead. And with him bringing out, like, those dynamite sticks, I was worried that Dalton was going to be the one who kind of came in and finished off Wapple. And I don't have a problem with that. You know, I feel like Oda did a good job with the uh, flashback of kind of setting up Dalton and making you kind of feel for the character more. But I just didn't think that if Dalton would have finished him off that there was enough build up in the story to war to warrant that type of payoff. I didn't think that that was I didn't think that was good enough. So the fact that Luffy is, you know, catching, you know, Wapple off guard, you know, one point he sneaks up behind him and he uh wraps him up and then he uses the gum gum bazooka later on in the fight. I like seeing those things, man. I like seeing them and just the the sheer amount of emotion that you see in the facial expressions right here when Luffy's going to use the gum gum bazooka. This is one of the few times that Luffy is actually focused. And right here with uh with Wapple, we look at him, he, he looks terrified. And you see the tears kind of streaming in his eyes. But the thing is, is I, I enjoy those two panels being right on top of each other because it shows the conflicting of ideals. You know, because Wapple is just so tied up and concerned with this whole idea of status and what it means to be the king and i like how in this chapter there was a a, a parallel you know shown of how uh vivi is on the other end of the spectrum because wapple's all about the status and yet vivi's keeping it a secret that she's the princess for her kingdom and dalton is re recalling this shit so you know that dalton knows who she is and it had been kind of foreshadowed, you know, earlier on when Dalton first got his uh, flashbacks a few chapters back. But just to see how she kind of swallowed her pride to prevent a war for the sake of her people and the lengths she went through in order to protect her people. And then how you look at Wapple and at one point Wapple's like throw him into the throw him into the uh, sea when he's talking about a sick man or just how he's so concerned with status. And I like how when uh, Dalton was being, you know, having, you know, shit talk to him by one of the, one of his former comrades, right? How you couldn't tell if it was Dalton or Luffy saying status and power is in everything. And I just like seeing that. And it goes back to what I was saying about Wapple being on the bottom and Luffy being on the top with those uh, panels. Because I thought that it was very cool how Luffy looks at him. After he says, like, look, you know, uh, Drum Island is part of uh, the world government, right? And we know that the world government isn't much to play with. We know that much. But I like how Luffy just holds his, uh, keeps his hand on his face and he says, I don't care about that either. I'm going to beat you up. And I like how Oda just very casually brought that into this because we do know that, you know, Crocodile is after Luffy and the Straw Hats. So I like how it is kind of very slowly kind of, you know, worked back into the story. We do know that uh, Captain Smoker is kind of chasing after him. So we do know that. We do know that Tashigi is coming after Zoro. We do know that Buggy is out there somewhere. I like how everything is slowly being weaved back in. I really feel like Something big is getting ready to happen. I don't know what exactly, but I just feel like something big is going to be popping up. I would say within the next 50 chapters. Within the next 50 chapters, before we get to chapter 200, I feel like something big is going to happen. And Luffy is just slowly racking up a... Uh, racking up a reputation. Like, similar to how he was making waves in the East Blue. If you look at what he's doing down here on the... Uh, on the grand line i could see luffy and the straw hats their bounty going up because they're doing some shit and the fact that wapple has seen most of the crew at this point i don't think he's seen usopp well yeah he was on the ship with them so if wapple is not finished off 
What's to say he doesn't, you know, turn snitch like the other boy from the Navy and get the whole crew reported? Now the whole crew has bounties. And I could see this. And because it's happening on the Grand Line and because he's doing shit with uh, the world governments, I could see this making news because this is an international crime. So, oh, man, I'm just loving where this is going, man. I, it's like, that's like the big thing for me in this chapter is just looking at that and knowing that Oda is laying framework for something bigger and for there to be ramifications to Luffy's actions later on. I don't know what exactly he's setting up for, but I, I know when I know when framework is being set up for a plot device and this is this is framework being set. Now there's one other scene that I wanted to kind of go over, and that's when the villagers are taking that uh that that I I'm not sure what it is. Like it almost looks like the little things you ride when you go skiing and you go to the top of the mountain, but you gotta pedal this one. And when I was looking at it this was my thing, right? Like, one of the guys just like, pedal harder, and it's Usopp seeing it, right? And my thing is, I was looking at that, and I was like, Usopp is a fucking coward. Like, all you gotta do is put Usopp on the damn pedal and threaten him, and Usopp gonna get your ass up there, like, super quick, man, because, like, his ass can run. Like, Usopp is on some Usain Bolt shit. Like, that's the thing that I've, I've noticed, you know, uh, looking at the, the manga and everything. Like, and I, I, Usopp's on some Usain Bolt shit, man. Usopp ass can run, so just put his ass on the pedals. That's the thing that kind of got me on that. Like, I thought it was, in a way, a little convenient, but the fact that she needed that device in order to get to the top of the mountain, it makes sense. So I, I don't have a problem with that. You know, normally shit like this... Where it's like, oh, we have a way to get up here, and it's even quicker. It's, I'd have been like, the fuck? You know, you could have just gave that to Luffy and them for Luffy and them to get up to the castle, and you just happen to have it and discover this when the time call for you to... Normally, I would call bullshit on this, but Oda's built up enough uh, rapport with me as a reader to where I'm not going to question this shit. If I would have been seeing some half-ass writing before this, then I would have just jumped all the way out on this and said, no, bullshit. Bullshit that you just happen to see this. Like, if you've seen any of my Bleach reviews, you know that, like, when some when I see something that doesn't feel warranted, the whole video will turn into a rant. The whole video will turn into a rant. Like, I'll be insulting characters and everything. So this right here, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I think that, I think this is good enough but overall, like I said, pretty good chapter, man. I like I like how when Luffy was kind of fighting that he takes off the, the top of the roof. And one of you guys jumped the gun on me. You said, oh, this reminded me of Arlong Park where Luffy fucked up the building. You jumped the gun, dude. I don't know which one of you it was. I'm not mad, you know. I'm not mad because I forgot about it and so I, so I read the panel. I said, oh, shit, this is what he's talking about. So just a brief thing, man. You know, hey, talk all you want. But if you spoil, like my thing on spoilers, if it's something's going to happen within a few chapters, I don't mind it as long as it's not huge. So otherwise, man, you guys just do what you got to do. But that's it for this uh, chapter review, guys. No chapter question today, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.